Today on Ham Radio 2.0, we're going to be testing the remote controlled VGC VR N5700 that uh, you can control from an Android device or an iOS device. It's coming up right now. <laughs> Shut up and sit down. Hey guys, good evening, good afternoon. Uh, welcome to Ham Radio 2.0. Uh, my name is Jason. I'm KC5HWB. If this is uh, your first time to join us here, uh, consider subscribing below and smashing that like button because on this channel we do reviews and how-tos of everything that is new in amateur radio. And this thing is definitely new, okay? So this was sent to me by my good friends over at RNL Electronics. Special thanks to Roger over there for allowing me to do the review on this radio. You'll notice this This is the front of the radio, okay? This is the microphone connector here. Here's the microphone right here, okay? I'm going to switch to this view right here, that and that, and turn it around. You can see it's got lights on the front of it. It's got a microphone connector, obviously, and a power button right there. Um, side mounts for the, the uh, mounting bracket, PL259. Um, fan on the heat sink, regular type T connector, and um, inline fuses. There's nothing really special in the box. It comes with a microphone and a power cable and a, and a mounting bracket. So it's already got something over ICOM because it comes with the mobile mounting bracket. But the cool thing about this, and I think I'm gonna go get my tablet rather than doing it on my phone. I put it on my phone last night. It's controlled by an app on your phone. And it's made for Android. And they say there's an iOS version that they, um, um, if you go to their, um, well, you go to the RNL Electronics page and it says there's an Android version. Search for it here. Go here. They give a link. I'll put a link in the descri this description below so you can check this out. I'm pretty sure Eric from Ham Radio Concepts did a review on this radio. So we're going to do that right now here and today. And I'm going to let you guys show, uh, see what it looks like. I will put this link in the description below. Okay. So I'm going here to find, yeah, there it is, VRN7500, and that's it right there. And if you go down here to this link, I wish he would have made this a clickable link, but he didn't. Right there, and then copy. Parks on the air, haha. <laughs> go there and we're going to there we go Vero in series Android app download downloading file okay I guess it finished file manager um, download, we're going to go here, a there's the APK, APK file is a file extension for Android apps, and if I go there, settings, yeah, so, so it, it doesn't want to, uh, it blocked it, which is fine, that's fine, that way it won't install anything rogue, now go back here, now go back there, I could have clicked install there, okay, install, there we go, okay, good. Now we're going to go over here to that. I've got all, all this plugged up right there. <clears throat> That's the power on button. Let's see, I, I, it powered on when I plugged it in. I didn't actually touch this power button. There it is. Okay, okay. So it was powered on when I plugged it in. Not a big deal. Channel 1, it says. Okay, okay. So for all those folks who ask about... Um, voice announcements. <clears throat> we got a voice announcement. Channel 1, it said. Um, I'll push up down on the microphone. It doesn't seem to do anything. Okay, so let's do this. Uh, allow. Allow. Allow, just allow everything. I don't care. OK, 
Okay, buy new device. Uh, Walkie talkie wireless PTT. Okay, so I've got the uh, I've got the app downloaded. And I went ahead and got the instructions out because you have to do a couple of steps to um, make the <clears throat> radio recognize the app or vice versa. So um, for an Android user, this is the this is the link that I went to on the tablet. Uh, for iOS users, search BSHT in Apple Store. BSHT. I don't know. I didn't come up with this stuff. Um, okay, open open the app and select Buy New Device. Turn on the mobile radio, then press the power key twice, and a beep will be heard. A red-green flashing light means the radio is now in pairing status. So that's what we're going to do here, okay? So I'm going to go... Yeah, I've got both of those up there. So power on the radio. Then press the power key twice. Okay, beep. Detected. You see that come up on the screen? Just like that. Yes. See the flashing on the radio there? Really like having two cameras on this view. That's cool. All right. Pair and connect. Allow. Pair. That's Android. There we go there. The device needs the firmware update. Do you, do you start updating now? I don't know. Do I? Do I start updating now? I think I'll start updating now. Start. Turn this way. Firmware updates over Android. How cool is that? That's really slick, right? <laughs> uh, if there is no response for a long time, try boarding and restarting. Okay, so it says data transfer is 0% right now. We're going to Oh, there it goes. Now it's at 1%. Slow. Okay. I'm going to wait for it. And we're just going to wait for that to... Uh, to. But that's cool. I mean, it, it, it came up and the first thing it said, it connected by itself. There's a bind device key on there that you might see. So you click on bind device and it searches your network or searches something nearby for Bluetooth devices. But as soon as I put the radio into pairing mode, it came up like that. We're done. And then the first thing, and as soon as I paired and connected and said, yes, 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 it came up and said, you need a firmware update. Really cool. So good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Uh huh. I'll probably skip some of this so I don't make y'all watch the whole thing. Okay, so that took about 10, maybe 12 minutes. Obviously, I didn't want you guys to sit there and watch that counter go by. Um, so that took... It took a, a little bit for that to complete. Uh, yeah, we're all good there. So I'm going to go start. Initialization, that's spelled wrong. Initial S-A-T-I-O-N. Initialization. Okay, well, that's fine. <laughs> we're going to wait for that, see how long that takes. And you can see in the top right corner of the screen, the uh, radio has just got the power button on, but no flashing lights at this moment in time. And it says, if there is no response for a long time, try abort and restarting. And the, the green button down here says abort on it. So, oops. See, that's what you get for using a touch screen. <laughs> okay, after all that, it finally did update. Okay, it, that was the R Finder, by the way. Okay, um, so it finally did update. I had to abort and go back out of it like three times, but then it finally, and once I aborted the last time, I backed up another screen, and then I went back into it, and it AI5, said, uh, do you want to... BX, this is N5AYB. It said something like, do you want to... Um, complete the firmware update and I said yes and then it said instead of initialization it said which was spelled wrong it said data transfer at 85 percent I waited for that to complete and it's done so here's what it looks like click to start the connection in order to control the device okay there's that okay good now I wonder if I can zoom in on that a little bit okay now this one here 
So these are probably programmable. High power, single channel, dual channel, scan, talk around FM radio. Turn that off. Uh, I can turn the power off. Channel one. See that the light come on? Yeah, of course, you heard it say channel one, I assume. Uh, let's see. Channel one is... Let me see here. It's hard to see with the camera angle at, at that. I'm going to turn it up right there just so I can see it better. Um, FM radio. Okay, so that uh, this icon here is for the FM radio. Straighten that up. This icon here, it says Region 1 Import Device Channels. Region 1 Channel Manager. There we go. Okay. Now I can go... Okay. Edit Channel. If I wanted to go here and say Grapevine. repeater. I wonder if it'll hold that whole word. No, okay, it won't. Okay, so it stopped. So grapevine. So it's limited characters, which is normal for most radio programming. Transmit power high. Disable transmit more. Transmit CTCSS. there okay disable transmit no talk around no allow scan pre de-emphasis okay let's just change I'm gonna change I'm gonna call the channel 145.400 transmit frequency so 140 Okay, just like that, edit channel, save changes, save, save changes, save, sync to device, yes, and there we go, low power, medium power, high power, okay, now what does this button do? That controls your volume and squelch and uh, device speaker is auto. Okay, so you can turn the speaker off and on. Wired microphone speaker off and on. Not sure what that is. Wired microphone speaker off and on. Okay, that's fine. General settings. So you can set your... PTT timeout, uh, hold time off is all good. Mic gain, wireless mic gain, if you get a wireless mic for it. It's got Bluetooth in it, so there is a wireless mic for this device. Um, let's go there and here. I'm going to, yeah, let's go over here and say Bluetooth oh. right there the VGC BMH 75 $40 microphone cordless Bluetooth speaker mic for VRN so that means in fact here's the uh, yeah this is the other item he sent me Bluetooth PTT button, so you can, it's got it, that's a Velcro stra strap there that you could, you can Velcro that and PTT to your arm. I guess you can probably do it, oh, you know what, you probably do it around your steering wheel, since it's a mobile radio. I'm thinking of the Bluetooth for, for a, um, like the Anytone Bluetooth, but that you could strap, you could strap it to your, your um, gear shift, if you have an automatic or a standard like I do, or even just strap it around your steering wheel, that'd be kind of fun. 
And then uh, I've got that. He sent me this. And I didn't bring it out for the video. So I think what I'll do is because because so so that way okay so the the thing that I the thing that I had the question about which this this is this is how I answered it right here is that I wanted to know you know since the radio here trans, transition back over here has a microphone connected to it like that um you know what what good would this do to control it from the app if you have this microphone always having to connect to it because this mic cord is not very long it's just about yay long that's what it is right there but that's how you do it it has wireless bluetooth handheld mic or ptt button um so you can bluetooth it to your car and use your car's i i assume that the ptt button is to bluetooth it to your car and use a headset or your car's ambient bluetooth or you can use the microphone that's not wired to the radio I'm going to have to set that up in the truck and do some testing with it because that's going to be fun. I don't have a an external speaker. I don't have I don't have an external antenna connected to that radio right now, so I'm not going to do any transmitting on it. But this is cool. So I think I'm going to do a part 2 to this video, put it in the truck, external antenna, Bluetooth mic, do some driving down the road, maybe an on the road video and uh, see what this looks like because <laughs> this might be fun so those of you who are wanting something that you can basically uh, of course you can mount your android tablet you can control it from your phone if you have a phone mount in your car you can control it from your phone or a tablet mount i got two tablet mounts in my truck so you could always do that so those of you wanting to look for something like this this is it this is a great option i think um for dual band 50 watts out and um easy to control from the tablet and the phone, Pro program it all from the tablet, click on which um, channel you want to go to, Bluetooth, microphone, everything. So very cool stuff at um, RNL Electronics. This sells for $159.95. The Bluetooth microphone is $39.95. And the, uh, the PTT button with the Velcro strap is $14.95. So... Um, again, you know, check our RNL Electronics every day. Actually, hold on. Yeah, there we go. Um, so very cool stuff. Here we go. So here's the uh, the radio itself. Okay, so the radio itself is one fifty nine ninety five, and uh, and there's what it looks like. Yeah, see, you've got he's he's got it running on his uh bluetooth i guess you could all right some of these newer vehicle my my vehicle doesn't have this some of these newer vehicles have um android os's on the car stereo i actually bought a double den car stereo that runs on android for my truck that i never have put in so that's probably a video upcoming <laughs> and then you've got the uh the ptt button for 14.95 and then you've got the uh the external handheld mic that's wireless bluetooth mic for $39.95. So put all that into your vehicle, hide the radio in the trunk somewhere, run your coax out the back and, you know, connect it to your battery. However you do that, dual band, 50 watts out, mobile radio controlled from an Android app. You can't beat that. So, and yeah, I think you're going to start to see, you know, much like the, uh, much like the R finder, I think you're going to start to see a lot more Android controlled stuff upcoming in ham radio overall. So I'm kind of surprised it's taken this long to find stuff like this. But this is a cool item. Uh, thanks Once again, thanks to RNL Electronics for letting me review it. And um, I'm probably going to go, once the weather gets a little bit warmer, maybe in a few weeks, I'm going to go put it in the truck, mount the tablet in the truck, and drive down the road, and we're going to see how it looks. 73, guys, let me know if you have this radio, if you've used it, what feedback you have on it, what kind of response you got from using it in a real-world environment. Um, Power output, how well does it hit your repeater? How well do people do uh, your audio reports that people give back to you? Uh, and the receiver, the re uh, how well it, it receives using its simplex and from repeaters in your area. 73 guys, we'll catch you next time.